Hello cookies. So it is Monday and Juneteenth. Happy Juneteenth. Yes, yes. I am trying to stay in the light because I went downstairs to the laundry um, and the lady who runs it was like, oh, Carolyn, you look tired. And I'm like, thanks. I'm, I am. I am. Thank you. Oh my God. But anyway, oh, anyway, I am staying in the house today i think i think i might be staying in the house i might go outside for juneteenth let's see what happens but on thursday let me get to the chase on thursday i'm going to miami for a bachelorette so i'm very excited because you know just hanging out with the girls and we're all excited we're all over 30 and we're like what are we going to do with ourselves our bones are going to crack when if we go to the club um we're freaking out about what to pack, what to wear, all the things, all the while trying to like dodge the bride-to-be on like giving her actual details of what the itinerary entails and all the things. Like we just want her to have a good time and it'd be like a big surprise, you know, for all the stuff that we're doing. This light is not good for me, but whatever. So currently, I'm gonna show you what I'm looking at. Currently, it is it is a mess going on, okay? Have one suitcase here, have another suitcase there, and bathing suits that I tried on, and I said, who told me to ever even order these skivvy little, like, they barely cover anything. Like, no ma'am. So, oh, I, I put some uh, raisin bread in the toaster. I'm about to go eat that. But right now, I'm just sifting through the bathing suits that I've ordered over the years. Some I've never worn, some I have. And I'm narrowing down what I'm going to be taking on this trip. Um, and it's supposed to be raining most of the time. But I feel that it will just be a little sun shower and then it will go away. Miami's good for that. But anyway, I will show you all the packing process. The... The, the flying whatever the girl said it's okay if I vlog this trip you know just getting all the fun bits so welcome to the Miami vlog will it be a part two I don't know we have to see I don't know how much footage I'm going to be getting but I am excited so I'll show y'all as I'm packing uh what I'm going to be taking and when we get there you know what I'm saying uh, I'm excited because I'm I'm getting out the house basically you know yeah all right okay bye y'all I'll see y'all later I've literally been running around like a chicken with her head cut off and my wax appointment was actually for tomorrow called them they can squeeze me in in the next like 20 minutes so I was like might as well just do that but I already hit up Target before and after my wax I'm getting my nails done and then I'm going home I think I have to double check my list but we out here today we're going we're going and we're doing all the things and no one ever talks about how much money you have to spend right before a motherfucking trip like most of the money you spend for the trip is on the preparation days all the money all the money i don't even know how much money i just spent in the last 30 minutes but it's a lot because the people at sephora was like oh you should try this and i was like oh i'm so dumb yes so i tried it and i bought it and i'm gonna try it some more but yeah, we're going to the European Wax Center and we're going to get out the bushes. Okay, so I'm home and my phone died while I was out. Otherwise, I would have taken y'all on the journey of getting chrome nails, which they're okay. They're fun looking. It's giving Little Mermaid and I'm on that wave. But also I miss my manicurist, uh, Alex. Who I typically go to but with like everything going on I didn't have time to book with her and I think she's booked this month so I was like let me just go to my regular spot where I get my pedicures done but I managed to get more things done today than I had planned to so that's a win um one thing I want to talk about when getting a wax I don't understand why we'll talk about this more we don't like getting our cats waxed 
okay until maybe we get to the booty hole part then it feels good but then it also makes me pucker up at the same time because i'm like you're at the back of my building not a lot of people need to go back there in that alleyway why are you what do you like hurry up hurry up so it's uncomfortable and then also sometimes it's like you get those deep rooted hairs and you get them out and you bleed a little bit so when i got home just now i saw i had little blood spots in my underwear and i'm like first of all i'm violated like i put myself through the violation i paid and tipped for the violation and i feel smooth as a hairless cat but i still feel violated I'm just... and then they were like you want to come back a month from now i'm like yes yes i'll come back for torture but the girl that i go to diane diane or diana oh my god um from the european wax center on what is that it's not university place I'll put the information on the side here, but she's amazing, very down to earth. And for her to be like newer to the industry, like doing that type of waxing for a year and a half now, she's pretty thorough. But anyway, I got a whole bunch of like mini things, like my contact solution. I went straight to Target and just went to the mini section. Toothbrush, toothbrush and um, toothpaste. I went to Sephora, got my green clean, but the mini kind, because I got the big old one. I got Lysol spray for that airplane situation, because I'm not <laughs> tie-dye on the go, especially for the bride-to-be, because she's probably going to be wearing a lot more light colors and white on this trip, so just in case, right? I got some deodorants, uh, Q-tips, baby wipes for that booty, and for the cat. Um... Bubble gum, it's like <laughs> gum for the for the flight. What else is in this goodie bag? Listerine. Um, everything mini that they had on that wall, I basically just snatched right on up. I got Dove body wash. Um, I'm gonna pack my loofah and all the other stuff. And I also got this eye cream from Sephora called Shandy Shandy Darden. Um, intensive eye renewal cream. I've been looking for a new eye cream for the daytime because my Epilogic one is signed off as a, a evening one. So I need a daytime one. And then I also picked up Topicals Ingrown Tonic. I figured I'm getting a wax. Why not get this and try it out? And then I also got another tube of Summer Fridays, the vanilla um, flavored or scented lip butter balm because I can't find my other one. And that's not okay with me. So I just bought it because I was on the way out. But yeah, that, that is my list of goodies that I purchased today. Um, I did go and buy some other items from Sephora. And they gave me some free pieces. You know, like they said, oh, you want to take advantage of a gift or whatever. So I went in there for every single face, the um, Supergoop sunscreen need that definitely for Miami. I also bought the Love by Killian, the Don't Be Shy fragrance. Um, I figured get a small one. And I also got um, my Brow Wiz just in case because I think my other one is, is getting low and I don't want to be on nobody's vacation and cannot feel my eyebrows. Like that would be terrible. And then the gift with purchase or whatever that it came with was literally this one ounce spray of the charlotte tillsbury setting spray i was like oh hell yeah give me that it also came with makeup forever's pore minimizer it's a primer figured i'd try it and then it also had the shiseido um full lash serum don't know anything about this but i'm willing to try and yeah so i was like let me take advantage of those gifts um, but I love to have minis because my goal for this trip is to not check my bag. I might be able to manage it. I don't know. Let's see. When I pick up my stuff from the tailor tomorrow, we'll see how much, how many outfits can actually fit in um, the, the packing cubes. But trying to minimize as much check-in situation as possible. And if I do need to check in the bag, I need to carry on certain required pieces just in case you know but yeah, yeah so i'll talk to y'all later because i'm feeling very violated i need to self-soothe and eat a snack drink some water because i feel naked down there and um somebody saw my booty hole my vaginas and they're not related to me as far as like my mom and they're not my my man so i just i don't like the fact that somebody saw my, my vagina and my ass 
So I'm just going to watch uh, Married at First Sight, which is really enraging for me. I, I hate most of the people on this show. They get on all of my nerves. They're all crazy, especially Johnny, um, Michaela. Oh, my God. Michaela got on my complete last nerve. Um, who else? And Ron, Ryan or whatever his name is, Chabu. And, and Jose. And Jose. Okay, most of the men on this thing got on my damn nerves. And Michaela, the only black woman on the show. And I'm like, you, this is what you do when you get on TV? This how you do things? It's on Netflix, y'all, in case you haven't seen the last, the latest season. But I'll talk to y'all later. All right, now, bye. one over I had originally booked a trip that was gonna fly into Fort Lauderdale and that was not gonna work for me so last minute I switched realizing I made that mistake to a flight that's gonna go directly to Miami Dade International and on this flight is Nikita and Ashley and I did not tell them that I'm gonna be on their flight so I'm chilling until they come walking over here so I can surprise them and be like we on the same flight ditches um, but yeah so I'm just waiting for them. Reading my little bizarre magazine. So, yeah. I'm excited. Woo! There they go. Okay, Miami, we have arrived. And the girlies have a lot of luggage, so we need to go to the plane. And that's where we're going. No, we just got here. Y'all, say hi, Ashley. We're in the room. In the we are here in Miami. Am I the only person that like immediately starts thinking of the Miami song that Will Smith did? No, I was, I was thinking that too. I called. Oh, she called? Okay. This is the balcony. Ooh, there's a pool. I don't know if that's for us though. Wow, the water's right there. It's so cool. And then let's watch your step. Definitely watch your step when we go in and out of that balcony. Oh, 917. We're, 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 nine, it's all, all of us are gonna be in 17, so we're 917. Yeah. Miami, we have arrived, and all the girls are getting their things together. I might put on an eyebrow. Maybe not. Maybe I'll stay natural for the rest of the day. I don't know. But the bride is here. The bride to be is here, and the family members, the friends, the girls, everyone is here. We're lab. We're logged in. We're tapped in. We're ready for a bachelorette weekend. I don't know what that's really going to entail, but we're going to just do the things. It's going to be a time. This might be a part two. I don't know. I don't know. But definitely part one has officially started. The vlog is here. Officially. Officially. <laughs> We're on the way to get the bride to eat tacos. I didn't even know that was a thing. Okay, I have five dollars in the food. Um, I started an only stand account to start to hate the way. Um, my favorite color is pink. The only thing. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> Why would you lie like that? Thank you for making time and holding space for me this weekend. Can't wait to have a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. Yes. Cheers. 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 Cheers.
<laughs> Just saying. <laughs>
like a rant in the toilet. Like that's not supposed to be there. No light in the motherfucking refrigerator either. How is this a mini bar? What in the fuck have been going there before? So we're at Pole Fitness, Pole Family Fitness. We don't know what part of Florida this is, but she's interesting, honey. But the girls are about to learn how to do some pole situations. And it's Jane's two live crew. All day. All day. Hi, oh, can I record? Okay. Hi. <laughs>
Major update, major update. I haven't vlogged. What are you doing? Would you, you need help? Oh no, I was letting you record. Come on. <laughs> Say hi, Ashley. Hi. <laughs> so, haven't really vlogged much for today, but we did go to the stripper class, which I recorded before. But the short story is real quick. We had to switch rooms like three times, y'all. No, three, this is the third room. Yeah. This is the third room. So I will say up front, the Mondrian is not where it's at, unfortunately. Um, and that's okay. It's it's gonna work for this weekend. But y'all, the first room we had was dirty boots, okay? It was cruddy. You can tell that they didn't use Windex. It was dust, there were stains on the couch. It was just very lived in. And I don't understand for the amount of money that they're putting uh, holds on a, on the cards for I just didn't understand so Ashley was able to I have two Ashley's with me this is Ashley and then we have another Ashley in the other room um and the other Ashley went down she negotiated for them to change our rooms to a smaller situation we had a two bed one bedroom situation first mm -hmm. then they put us in a studio with two beds which was okay but we looked at the ceiling this morning and it was black mold everywhere. Ain't everywhere, the entire ceiling where our beds were. And Ashley has a cough that she's still getting over and she was coughing the worst in the room throughout this whole time we've all been down here. This is where she gets sicker. Um, and then we looked at the reviews and they were just as bad. Um, so finally we went down to the thing and we told them like we don't want a deep clean because you can't just get rid of black mold like that it doesn't work like that we want a whole new room or refund all the money and by the time we came back from the class they had this beautiful suite which i'm going to show y'all because we definitely upgraded oh they got an extra blanket and pillow is that what i'm seeing you know what we done upgraded we done upgraded for sure okay y'all so i'm gonna take y'all from the door and then take you through the whole space because this is really lovely hold on so first of all we're on one of the top floors but as you walk in you have like a whole kitchenette situation um we went to pura vida which was so good the salad super fresh um but this is where like they have like the little mini fridge i mean honestly look how they stock the fridge it's giving a little ghetto like this is not a regular mini fridge stock up so that will tell you and then look 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 at this look at this this is what i'm talking about the griminess of this place this is actually one of the better room situations and look how cruddy this is but it's the better one anyway come out they did have this ready for us but we don't want no damn champagne they didn't try to give a champagne at every damn corner trying to say sorry for the asses but this was a good one um this is their couch, which they could do better, you know, but we're happy to be in this room. Look, look at that, look, look, look. I know I'm being picky, but look at the, look at that, that shit ain't clean. Um, and we have the balcony, which is gorgeous. What is that little lamp doing? Look at that thing, look at that, look at that. Look at that. Anyway, here is our balcony. It's super warm out here. Um, and again, beautiful view. We did, the studio was a bay view as well. And originally we were on the flip side of the building where we didn't get any of this view. So this is super gorge. Um, and then the bedrooms are back here. We have two bedrooms. Walk through this hallway. Me and Asher in here together. I, I didn't know you was changed. Why didn't you say nothing? I'm glad I didn't catch your I ass in here. What you wearing? Fino Noel? Well? What is that? No. Right what you wearing? Time. Okay, we like that. We like that. And they gave us slippers, y'all. They gave us some slippers because the other rooms didn't have shit. Okay. And then we have our own bathroom here. Very nice. Much better. The other bathrooms were so dark, we couldn't even do our fucking makeup in here. Like, I was doing makeup with the little thing. And then, look how they had there. Look at it. Look at it. Ooh. would you look at the but I do like this brand a whole lot so I like that they have this soap here Carlos? no I'm doing my vlog say hello hey. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is Ashley's room um super cute 
actually negotiated these conversations and was like, bitch, give us a better room. Nice little closet. And then she, they gave us extra pillows and um, a blanket. And then she has her own bathroom too. So we really lucked out. Whole vanity, the whole situation here. But yeah, we really lucked out with the third. Third time's a charm. Oh. You gonna take a nap? Wait, let me see you. Say hi. Hi, I'm, I'm finally happy now. Yes. <laughs> Now and not even smile. coughing or anything. Not coughing, not She's doing thinking good. about where we could, the, why there's mold on the ceiling. Y'all, I'll put a video up in here to show y'all the mold, but it's like yeah, it's read dick. Really read dick. You going down? Yes. Well, y'all have fun. I'm going to sit up here and watch some Netflix or some okay. shit. Let's I got to fart a little bit. I ain't going to lie to you. I just had to I'm a, myself. I'm a little gassy. Though. I'm a little gassy. We ain't eat all day. Then it had kale, so it's about to go down. Like, okay. I just, I got, I got gas. Um, but y'all have fun down there with the mamas. Hopefully the rain will skip, yeah? Fingers crossed. All right, well, y'all have fun. Look at oh, her, she look good. Look at that, look at that. That's nice. <laughs> That's nice. It's very nice what you got going on here. See, take it on one strip of pole class, and that's all. The Ashleys, y'all. I love it. One is L-E-E, -E, the other is L-E-Y. Get it right. All right, one, well, take a look. I'll see y'all later. We're going to where? Komodo later? Yes. All right, I'll take y'all on that adventure too because that's supposed to be a big ass dinner. Yes, now I finally decided to get dressed. And right, and, and feel shoes. cute and actually clean yeah. instead of dusty. Dusty, dusty, dusty. You look dusty. dusty. All right, y'all, bye. Ashley came out with this liner for the bathtub just in case it was cruddy. Look how it opens, y'all. And you put this in the tub, and you have to feel the crittiness. Thank you, Ashley. You're welcome. This is amazing. in our room so that's why I don't get to show you all my outfits but I am wearing old skins. Yes. And we're
Okay, home well, early. There's some other girls that are in another room. I came home early because my left foot was hurting so much on the ball of my foot and three other ladies wanted to leave the club early as well. So I hopped with them in that ride. And I think the other bunch is going to another club. I'm not sure, maybe getting something to eat. So I'm going to relax in the living room. I might even sleep in the living room tonight. I'm gonna eat a little piece of cake that I got from that Pura Vida place because I need some kind of snack. I'm, I want a snack, I don't need it, but I definitely want one. And I'm gonna figure out the TV. Something about hotel TVs, or maybe just this hotel because everything is backwards here. Um, even more now and um yeah those girls weren't on the pole they were just in your face trying to get the money we had one that we really liked you know we became friends come back and we'll ask for her type of thing but yeah i wasn't wowed by a lot of you know it's a lot of fake asses around here you know what i'm saying a lot a lot a lot so anyway i'm gonna go eat my cake I'm gonna sit on the couch and I think there's there's extra pillows and the blanket and I'm gonna take that with me. And I'm gonna relax. Okay, so while I'm editing this vlog, I'm realizing I'm not really good at doing vacation vlogs. Like I miss so many things and yeah, I learned a lot with this video. Okay, so hopefully I have a, a trip coming up where I can try again because I'm doing my best. But can I tell you about Poppy Steak? So we actually been to Poppy Steak before, I think like two years ago, and it was a phenomenal experience. The pastrami is just divine. It is the only pastrami I would ever crave and eat. Um, however, this time around, we waited 45 minutes for a freaking table. And we actually had to order, we had to request two different tables because I think any table over six, like they were going to charge like $3,000 or something like that for the dinner. We were like, chow boo. So we actually had two different reservations, one for 10 and then one for 1030. And it was complete mayhem. I think there were like some, even like basketball players, because I know that the draft happened around the same time as the trip, that, you know, people who you would think would get seated immediately were waiting 45 minutes. And we sat next to this guy. He said, you know, we've been coming here often lately and it's happened every time since. So I would just put it out there. Poppy say, great food, great ambiance. Anytime somebody orders a freaking steak, they do this whole purge sound off and it just gives you like a fear in your heart for no reason. And that's the only thing that was annoying, but the food is great. That pastrami is amazing. I ran into a family friend there as well, Robin V. So that was really cool to like see her um, in her element because that's where she lives now, originally from Baltimore. And yeah, yeah, that's all I have to say about Poppy's steak. Beware of that wait time because she's not cute. I don't know. I think so. 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 I think so
James Two Live Crew. Huh? Where are they going? Oh, okay. Okay, so day four, Sade, the bride and I to be started off with a breakfast together at Pura Vida. And we actually spent the rest of the day by the pool and it was raining. So we were obviously under the awning, like this uh, covered bar for most of the afternoon, just enjoying each other, talking, talking with the, with the bartenders and stuff like that and just seeing people act up. Um, and then honestly, I was not feeling great that day. I was getting my cycle and I ended up staying in the room for the rest of the day. Uh, there were maybe four of them that went to Carbone later that evening and they went to live later that night, thanks to Ashley, unwrap Ashley. Um, and yeah, I know that they had a good food at Carbone. They had an okay time at Live. I don't think Live is the spot to be anymore. Honestly, like when we used to go there in our college days, you know, we would go in with um promoters or we would actually pay like two hundred dollars a pop to get into the club but it wasn't this situation um and it wasn't really that popping i heard like it was okay but honestly i was glad i kind of skipped out because like i was tired the budgets were over budgeting and i was tapped out and the cycle was on its way so really that day was just a day of rest packing up and getting ready to go home the next day. And don't know if y'all know, but in Miami that night, so that was like Sunday evening, some accident happened on the water. They had to shut down the port of Miami, three different cruise ships shut down. And there were so many cancellations um, trying to get out of the airports at Miami. And um, thankfully, because of our flight being early in the morning, we were delayed maybe like four hours. And our situation was we were trying to find a pilot crew to fly our aircraft into New York. And some people, the bride-to-be had to get rerouted back to New York. She lives in New Jersey. And there was a tornado warning in, my, in New Jersey. That's why she had to get rerouted. Two other girls, I think were canceled flights, didn't get back until like the next day. Ashley didn't get back until Thursday. It was just a complete mess just trying to get home. And to be honest, like it put a damper on like the rest of the trip. Like, you know, I felt like the last day was a little bit of a, a little, just a little slow. Maybe we were really tired. Um, you know, we were anxious to just maybe get home or wrap up the trip. I don't know, but it wasn't the greatest feeling at the end of the trip. And then to have to go through all those flight situations just was like, ugh, whatever. But all in all, I would say this, Miami is still a place to be, right? South Beach, the feedback that we got, some of the experiences that we received, one star. I think Brickell, downtown Miami, that's where the new situations and fun happenings are. Um, and I wish that we did get to explore that a little bit more, um, but we didn't. And listen, we, you live and you learn. I don't think I'll be rushing to Miami anytime soon, but I mean, she, the girl was still cute. Miami's still cute. Um, Pura Vida hit the spot for me every time. I ate very healthy on this trip. Because I was not playing games. I was like, I'm about to be on my cycle. I want to eat for each phase of my cycle in a healthy, wholesome way. And I stuck to it. Plus, I'm not a drinker either. So that obviously helped me, right? Um, but the experience at the Mondrian Hotel was hell. Okay. We got there the first day. And it was like, it, she was cute, I guess. But she was grimy. She was dirty. And then we switched to the studio, right? And then we realized the studio had black mold. And, you know, the hotel staff, I felt, was not really helpful or wanting to do anything because when Ashley went down there, Ashley from Cuts and Slices, um, she told us that the manager was like, 
not trying to do anything they were actually going to give a refund and be like okay since you don't like it like you can go whatever type of behavior and then the bride-to-be caught wind of it because her room apparently was not in top condition either like it was probably the worst out of all of us according to some of the other girls i didn't see it but she was crying you know she had picked the hotel and reserved it for us and she had no idea it was going to be like this and it's really weird because like none of us actually looked at the reviews until after getting there and i would never do that again um you know she meant well with reserving it and i think it's obviously not her fault but she felt embarrassed because of the conditions of the hotel and when I got on the phone call with my therapist, because every Friday I have my session, I told him where I was and he actually went to school in Florida. He was like, oh, that is a jump off hotel. And apparently the black politician that was running against the Santis had gotten caught there having sexual relations with a white man at that hotel. So I was like, this is a dirty, dirty hotel. Oh my God. So we didn't know these things. And now we know we will never stay there ever again i prefer the one hotel the w that type of thing because those are the places i experienced in the past and they've always been top notch um but yeah the mondrian absolutely not and they had children staying there too with the black mold spores hell no don't go there never go there okay Anywho, so yeah, day four was just relaxing for me personally and getting ready to go home. Um, and that was really that, you know. I think overall we wanted the bride-to-be to have a good time. We had the whole itinerary set up. The weather wasn't that bad. You know, there were some things that I wish that I packed versus, you know, things that I was glad that I packed. I lived in that two set that I got from Zara. Um, I only brought one pair of slides. Definitely, that was a winner. I didn't have to bring so many heels. I brought like three pairs of heels. I could have just wore the one, the Renee Calavillas, um, because that went with everything I wore. And then every time you pack, I packed lightly compared to everyone. I packed lightly. I didn't have to check my bag going there. And um, I had maybe two or three outfits I just didn't put on because I sat out for live, you know, that type of thing. And um, yeah. But next time, I will definitely take way more footage whenever I go somewhere. This is my first time really doing it like that. And I noticed that I missed a lot. But sometimes when you're having fun or even when you're not having a good time, you forget to pull the camera out. And I think that's what definitely happened with this trip. I forgot to pull the camera out many times. Stripper class was fun. I had a blast, okay? Komodo, great food. They made a lot of accommodations for my um, allergies. Um poppy steak obviously the weight was suck ass but great food and yeah i mean overall pura vida i wish we had pura vida here because the food was just so good and i'm like remaking the things that i had while i was down there i need to go get some strawberries because i want that granola bowl that i had here anyway thank you so much for watching obviously i'm going to do a much better job on my next vlog and yeah comment below what are your favorite places in miami to go to what do you know I should have asked y'all before I went there, huh? That would have been a good idea. Hmm. Again, you live and you learn. I'll see y'all next week. Bye.